Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Biodiversity and Conservation and I'm Sukhalakshmi Rao from Amrita Prashad Research Foundation India. We are going to start a new unit, Environmental Biology of UGC Net Examination Environmental Science and this is the first part and in this part we are going to cover only the basic concepts of ecology and ecology as an interdisciplinary science. So ecology, what is ecology? Ecology actually represents the application of scientific methods in natural history or folklore. Why? As we know that from primitive races, they also had the knowledge about um, uh, how malaria is caused due to mosquito or uh, Eskimos uh, had known about that uh, diseases in their sled dogs that caused from the wild arctic fog and uh, they, they knew how to um, find every kind of animal and catch it. They also knew the names of the trees and the uses to which they can be put. So all such knowledge about the animals and the environment which is uh, found within the local people is known as folklore or natural history. And if we mix some scientific methods uh, into that, we call it as ecology. Traditionally, ecology was viewed as the scientific study of interactions of living organisms and the environments. Only that. But now, the modern concept shows that ecology depends on a wide variety of methods and approaches rather than on limited range of techniques and concepts. So, it is actually important for human beings to understand that it's environment and ecological principle because we have the ability to modify the environment through the use of technology or through over exploitation of natural resources. Maybe because of weed or to uh, fulfill the needs of the population high. And what is, how the term ecology was coined, where, from where it was derived from. So actually it is derived from two Greek words, Oikos and Logos. Oikos means house or uh, home or a place to live. And Logos means knowledge or discourse or study. So it logically means study of a house or a, a place where an organism lives. So that defines ecology. Ernest Haeckel in 1869 defined ecology, later termed as ecology, as the study of reciprocal relationship between living organisms and the environment. Now, what is the aim of ecology? Ecology actually um, is the science which gives us the understanding about uh, the local and geographical distribution and awareness of organisms, that is their habitat, their niche, their community, or their biogeography. Uh, it also helps us to understand the temporal changes in the occurrence, abundance, and activities of organisms made through seasonal, annual, subnational, or geological. It also helps us to understand the population ecology, that is the interrelations between organisms in populations and communities. It also helps us to understand the physiological ecology, that is the structural adaptations and functional adjustments of organisms to their physical environment. It also helps us to understand ecology. Ecology means the behavior of organisms under natural conditions. It also helps us to understand the evolutionary ecology. That means it uh, helps us to understand the evolutionary development of all these interrelations. How these relations came to be. It explains that. And it also helps us to understand the ecosystem ecology, that is the biological productivity of nature and how this means uh, help the mankind. 
and it also helps us to understand the systems analysis that is the development of mathematical models to relate interrelation or interaction of par parameters like abiotic parameters like rainfall um, amount of sunlight carbon dioxide and predict the effect on the whole ecosystem next to understand what is ecology we have to understand the levels of organization of biology in biology the, there is some system of hierarchy where uh, it extends from smaller atoms to a whole biosphere so this uh, structure that shows from cells to biosphere is under biology but the small part of biology from organism to biosphere contributes to ecology so like a simple cell cell they aggregate to form tissues tissues they aggregate to form organ organ they aggregate to form organ system and from uh, aggregation of different organ systems uh, organism is formed and the organism um, of the same kind makes up a population and a um, population that means it includes uh, groups of individuals of same kind of organism and all the populations occupying a given area form a community and the community and the non-living environment function together to form an ecosystem and um, the heterogeneous area composed of a cluster of interacting ecosystems um, that are repeated in a similar manner uh, forms the landscape and uh, biome biome is a large regional or uh, um, subcontinental system that uh, that may be characterized by major vegetation it, it is a uh, or uh, other identifying landscape like if uh, we say temperate deciduous forest biome that means it consists of deciduous trees so then the um, biosphere is the largest unit of biological system it is made up of uh, um it is made by uh, uh, including some biomes so this is the level of organization uh, this helps us to understand the ecology now what is the relationship of ecology with other sciences actually ecology is a type of science which uh, takes knowledge from every branch of uh, biology but acts on its own so um, ecology is considered as an interdisciplinary science uh, before going into this uh, topic uh, I, I want to just uh, make you understand about uh, some terms like interdisciplinary interdisciplinary means uh, you take a single discipline or a single knowledge or single skill uh, with within the boundary of a discipline means uh, if we want to study about uh, chemistry we will take some subjects of chemistry and we will uh, get the knowledge on that within chemistry field only and uh, cross disciplinary means we have to view one discipline from the perspective of another means uh, like finding some middle ground of sorts like uh, if we want to uh, study about so, let's say biology then biology also doesn't include uh, everything um, purely biology it uh, includes some chemistry also so we have to see from that perspective also multidisciplinary means it uh, involves working with different uh, disciplines and drawing a conclusion based on all the disciplines like uh, 
if we want to study about physics and chemical history, we have to get a conclusion that involves both. Interdisciplinary means uh, um, adding the knowledge and methods from different disciplines using the real um, real life problems and uh, like biochemistry or astrophysics and transdisciplinary means uh, creating a unity of intellectual framework beyond the disciplinary perspective means we have to uh, focus on um, huge problems let's say world hunger or like world hunger uh, and we have to think from uh, various different perspectives not only from ecology or biology or physics chemistry so this is these are some terms now why ecology is an interdisciplinary science as um, it works with uh, the current problems of ecosystem um, through using some different disciplines of science it is um, it comes under interdisciplinary science now what is the scope of ecology there are various scopes of ecology like um, So we can um, get into the field of horticulture, behavioral science. Behavioral science means it's the study of uh, behavior of animals or uh, plants, um, making for making them adapt to the environment. Nuclear research, forestry, pest control, silviculture, agriculture, oceanography fisheries biology, population genetics, so soil and water conservation, wildlife management, public health, biotech control, meteorology, limnology, space research, and environmental physiology. From these scopes, we can uh, also get some specialized fields of ecology. There are various fields of ecology like applied ecology, biogeochemistry, behavioral ecology, chemical ecology, conservation ecology, or uh, environmental evolutionary ecology, fire ecology, um, global ecology, human ecology, industrial ecology, landscape ecology, or microbial ecology. These are various uh, fields of ecology which deals with specific uh, um, studies or specific uh, roles. Like if we uh, go for uh, global ecology, means uh, it deals with ecological phenomena at a largest possible scale. And uh, human ecology, it includes population ecology of man, their relation with environment and, um, and the um, effects of uh, the action of humans on biosphere and all that comes under human ecology. So there are various fields we can uh, go through, um, and ecology has a plays a very important role in uh, solving the problems. And now we can summarize that ecology is uh, associated with various fields like agriculture, uh, wildlife conservation, fisheries, animal husbandry, etc. So it is. Uh, not only a fascinating subject, it is a science that actually matters to all to maintain the world at its best possible outcome. So thank you.